Hey everybody, uh, Pixel Pusher here. Um, I'm looking to change my name from Pixel Pusher to something else because of copyright shit. <laughs> that's the best way I can put it. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, that's looking look for that change uh, pretty soon. Um, all right. So anyway, today I'm going to teach you uh, how to take an illustration like this guy that we're looking at and make them into uh, pixel art, like how I did here. And this is, of course, our sprite. I didn't make any of these sprites. Uh, these sprites were made by another artist. And actually, so were, was the uh, illustrations. Um, the illustrations were made by uh, somebody I work with. And uh, so, really, this video is actually going to be for uh, if you want to take uh, an illustrator's illustrations, and make them into pixel art. So if you you know if you're working on a project and, and you have uh, an illustrator that you're working with, and you have to kind of convert this stuff to pixel art in some way, this may or may not be useful to you. Um, some of the techniques that I use may already be known by you. So let's um, let's hop into it. I guess um, I'm gonna st I'm not gonna do this guy since I already did him, but I am going to do this guy. All right. So yeah, I mean, here are the other ones that I did. You can see um, these are, like I said, they they are not made by me. I just make them into pixel art. So like, there's that one. I'll show you the original too. So yeah, like there's the original. And here is the one I did for pixel art. So yeah, all right. So let's get started on this one. Um, all right. I'm just going to drag this over. Uh, you also notice that um, this has a stroke on it. So you'll see over here on my uh, layers double click this you can see that I got a three pixel width uh, stroke on it um, that's actually because you know we do want this kind of black line around uh, and you know you don't have to do this if you don't want that specifically but for my project I need that all right so let's do this I'm gonna rasterize it and then I'm going to shrink it down and use free transform. And uh, of course, with anything that you're making into pixel art, you're trying to keep that pixelized look. I'm going to keep nearest neighbor selected. And all right. I'm holding shift so I keep this perspective. I guess I want to make it as big as that one next to it. Uh, all right, that's good enough. Apply. Mm -hmm. um, now, since you are doing pixel art, you will have to fill in some of this stuff. Get rid of this anti-aliasing too. Um, along the way. I'm going to do as much as I can um, as I go through this. Just getting rid of them. The aliasing. All right. Blah, blah, blah. I just really go around here with the uh, pen tool and fill in the weird spots. Uh, actually, I'm going to just rent this off. You might find you want to do that, too, to a lot of this. It just goes into uh, touching this up after you kind of um, violently move all of this stuff in place to make a pixelized object from an illustration. OK. 
Okay. No, 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 no. And no, I'm not going to fast forward this. It might be a good idea, but uh, I'm, I'm too lazy. <laughs> Now, uh, you may want to edit things along the way, like I'm kind of doing from the original design, just to keep everything nice looking. All right. And as you see, I, I'm just really kind of going around the uh, whole edge of this thing to make sure all the alien Ali anti or anti aliasing is out. Okay, and then I think the rest I'm just going to go around with the uh, eraser tool. Yeah, get rid of all this little extra stuff Let's make this black uh, I'm gonna end up wanting to go around this whole thing a third time to get rid of like these, the inner uh, anti-aliasing from the uh, from the stroke pattern that I had applied to this, or filter, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, 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 okay. Moving on. By the way, uh, if you're watching this and you think you have a better way of getting rid of these anti-aliasing parts rather than just manually going around here with an eraser tool, please let me know. <laughs> I could use the help. Alright, I think that does it for the outside. Okay, now I'm going to do the inside, which is really just grabbing a color and going to town on the edges. Alright. Okay, now it's all cleaned up. Um, you may want to make some adjustments to what you have here, uh, whether it be color or how light and dark things are. Um, you may even want to add some like reflection to glasses because you notice in our sprite over here we uh, have a little bit more reflection than this little doodle here. Um, I might make it like this actually because this was kind of the same way where I have. Uh, actual lenses in there that you can kind of see. So let's do that. Um, I'm using my uh, uh, I'm 
this is my polygonal lasso tool to uh, just really select all this stuff out. So here we go, right? I'm gonna go around here like this. Blah, 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 blah. Might want to add a little more glass to it. There we go. And I'll just take my other color from over here. Okay. And I will take this color. Eh. I need some adjusting since it looks a little weird. take out that bottom here. Look a little nicer. All right. Just to make sure everything is uh, nice looking. Ooh, you know what? I didn't want to do that to this guy's shirt. Oh shit, you know what? Let's do this instead. Take this white on the shirt. Paint it there, but I don't want a contagious on. So let's put on contagious. And there we go. Got his white shirt back. That's pretty much how you do this. Um, with more complex stuff like this, you know, like you'll have to actually draw some of this in because I'll, there will be a lot of anti-aliasing. Um, but that's pretty much how you do that. Um, if you have any questions or if you think I'm a dummy for making a video that is not really too descriptive as it was more like visually descriptive, let me know. <laughs> I probably won't read it, but it's cool. Yeah, here's some parts that I forgot. You may also want to like re-shade some of this stuff. It's pretty consistent. You may actually just want to edit some of this like stuff entirely. Okay. I do want to keep that there, I guess. Nose. I might want to put shade on these glasses like I did with this one over here. See? Shade under his glasses. Well, 
while you try to um, keep this to your illustrator's des original designs, you may change. May, you may want to change some of this just because um, it's not. Some of it doesn't scale down real well, and here we go. Alrighty, that's looking good. Uh, more dead pixels here. You can get really, really detailed with this, so as detailed as you want. There's really no rule saying that you have to uh, do all the pixels, but you can. You definitely can. All right, we're at a point where we're pretty much finished here. I keep saying that, but <laughs> I keep finding things that uh, I want to change, which you will too, I'm sure. Uh, okay, this guy's looking good. I think I can stop. Check out his uh, dreads here. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, do the regular thing on the YouTube thing. Uh, like I said, I, I want to check. I want to change my uh, pixel pusher name because of copyright problems. Uh, I'll eventually think of a name eventually. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Have a good one.